I don't always design a toy train on Inventor, but when I do, I do boil her up. Part five, the wheel. We're going to try to do this super fast. So one thing we're going to do is we need to know that this line going down where my mouse is is going to be a construction line, and we're going to also need these circles down here, these radiuses down here to help out. Uh, this is not a good helpful drawing, so we're going to do it to the best of our ability. All right, so first thing we're going to do is start a sketch. We're going to take a 2D sketch on, I'm going to use the XZ plane. And then I'm going to create um, this kind of, this shape. And add some constraints to it. And then let's go ahead and add a construction line to the right of it and hit escape. All right, so what I've drawn is like this right here, this diagonal line space right here, and then this line going down. Now I need to dimension everything. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dimension to that part, 0.28 divided by 2, and let's lock that part. So let's go here to here, that's 0.25, we're going to dimension here to here I believe, 0.75. And then we're going to go here to the top, and that's one. And you can see mine's not quite perpendicular. Oh, darn it. Before I add this line right here, I want to, or dimension here, I want to make that perpendicular. There we go. So everything should be perpendicular. Let's do the width, and that's 0.25. This is also, I believe, 0.25. This right here is 0.125. And let's add a circle. I need to turn off my construction line. I want to put that right in the middle and trim away that. And let's make some fillets. And the fillets you'll see on your drawing are 0 0.0625. And it says typical, which means they're going all around. There's more than one. And there they all are. So I'm going to finish the sketch. I think I'm done. And I'm going to revolve this around our construction line. And we have that. I'm going to hit OK. So now we've gone around the construction line. We do not need to create a hole. All right, flipping it on its back side. Or in my case, this is called the left side. I'm going to start a new sketch on there and project the geometry. And I want to create a, quite a few lines. And this is where, on our drawing, I'm going to work on this bottom part down here. All right. Let's do a line there. Shortcut for a line is L. created four lines. One, two, three, four. And now let's dimension those. And that we want to be 15 degrees. And then the next dimension we want is, I believe, 30 degrees. All right, let's also create a circle. 
in the circle we want to be, the radius is 0.375. So let's times that by 2. Now let's create another circle with the center point there. And that will be 0.625 times 2. This is what we want. We got 1, 2, 3, 4 lines there or circles. Now I want to trim a bunch of stuff away. So actually, I don't need that. Finish my sketch. Oh, I forgot to delete something. Sorry. I made the mistake of projecting these two uh, yellow circles. I, I shouldn't have done that. So, let's see if we can extrude that. I find it's always easier to kind of extrude things at an angle. So let's push it through. We want to push it through all, make it disappear. Okay. And let's do a circular pattern of what we just designed. So that right there. Let's revolve it around this center circle. And we want six of those. So my default is six, so that looks good. And now we want to make this like side part right here. And this is called a section view, so it magnifies it so that you can easily see what you're working on. So I'm gonna look directly at it. In my case, it's my right view. So I'm gonna click on this and start a new sketch. And let's project our geometry and we'll create a circle right on here. And the circle, we want it to be, the diameter is 0.25, and it is spaced 0.7. And it is extruded Point three seven five, and now we want to click on there and start a new sketch and project that geometry and start a new circle right on top of there and we want that circle to be point one two five for the diameter and we would like to extrude that And that extrusion, we want to be 0.125. And now we want to add a hole there. So first thing I'm going to do is start a new sketch, project my geometry on that small circle so I can add a point. And I'll finish the sketch so that I can add a hole. And let's see, we want the hole to be a straight shot. We want it to be pointed. We want the diameter to be 0 0.0625 with the depth of 0.25. All right. Again, pointed here. We have the distance. We're going to click OK. So you should have a wheel that looks something like that. So that should be it. So you want to make sure that, whoops, you want to make sure that we change this to ABS plastic. And then save our work. I'm going to put it in my train folder and I'm going to call this wheel and my initials. And there it is. Good job.